teacher arrested after missing 14 year old girl found at his home a clarendon teacher is now in police custody after a 14 year old girl who had been missing was found at his home in the parish on saturday the clarendon police have confirmed ratings tv understands that the police went to the man's home on saturday following an intelligence based probe the teacher wasn't home and the police were there knocking for a good while but while the police were there him drive up but he was telling the police it wasn't his house so they took his key tried the lock and the door opened they went into the house and found the girl hiding said a source Rating TV understands that the teacher previously worked at a primary school and is now currently employed to a high school, both in Clarendon, the Center for Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse is investigating the matter. Now viewers, if you are a first time viewer, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment and click the notification bell for more videos. Woolmer's student Jones, teen said to be Sugar Minot's grandson. A Fort Farm student of Woolmer's Boys School drowned during a beach trip at the Somerset Falls in Oak Bay, Portland on Sunday. David Minot, who is said to be the grandson of late reggae icon Sugar Minot, drowned during a church trip. He was from Errol Avenue, Kingston 13. It is reported that about 2 p.m., Minot was among a group of people who went swimming. He was last seen alive sitting on a rock shortly before lifeguards found his body below the surface of the water. He was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Minot was well known at school. He served as the public relations officer for the internet school's Christian fellowship and was also passion and pretty rep at the institution. A passion and pretty video on YouTube shows the young man talking about his love for Christ. My name is David Minot. I attend Walmart's Boys School. Passion and pretty is a needed light in this dark world to free youths, bringing them to consciousness and the reality that they were made to worship God and that in living his word. God, as eternal father, means to me that even when no one is there, when my mother and father forsake me, I am assured he will always be my father. And if my father is eternal, I will be an eternal son for him, only if I live his word. This reminds me of an encounter that I had with the Lord that motivated me to obey him. It, and it was at this same passion and purity. It was at a worship session I was ministered to by a dance presentation. And for the first time ever, a dance presentation gave me a new thirst and happiness for living the word of God. Popular Westmoreland Barber Shot Dead A well-known Westmoreland barber was shot dead at his barber shop along the Petersfield Main Road on Sunday night. That is 43 year old Ron Fennell, otherwise called Barber or Zuki, from a Hartford district address in the parish. Reports from the Witton Police are that about 10 p.m. residents heard explosions and summoned them. Fennell was later discovered with gunshot wounds and was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. The deceased sister Marcia Dixon told reporters that her brother was hardworking and popular. 24-year-old dance teacher charged with murder in St. Mary. A 24-year-old dance teacher has been charged with murder following the death of Jeremy and Barrington in Stuartown, St. Mary on Sunday, May 8. Charge is Faraji Elliott of Boscobel, St. Mary. Reports are that both men were among patrons at a party where several fights broke out. Barrington was shot by an unknown man after allegedly being pointed out by Elliott. The police were summoned. 
and Barrington was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations subsequently led to Elliot's arrest after which he was pointed out during an identification parade. An interview was then conducted and he was later charged with murder. His court date is being finalized. My name is Malika Reed and I am a victim of Brady last. How you got into farming? Twelve years ago as a police officer I went on suspension. So I've been on suspension for the last twelve years. And so being suspended from my job I had to find something to do. And so my dad was at the time had two pigs and suggested I try that. And I've been doing that ever since. So I actually took two pigs from my father and started to take over his um farming and um that is how i've been doing it. so i first i was at my parents i then rented somewhere and then um the sugar company at jamaica um was good to me to allow me to to lease this piece of land about a year ago how many acres are we looking at i'm presently on five acres i came to the farm on on saturday i left my farm about 7 30 saturday night and i came back on sunday um, because I had some business to do. I came back on Sunday about 3 o'clock. When I came, I realized the goat pen was open. I guess we should think in on my part that, that some of the, go the goats were out and some were in. But after a brief check, I realized that um, the goats were stolen. When I did a check, I recognized that 27 heads of goats was missing. In fact, it's only the kids that are left with, with some, I think, two, two medium-sized goats. One female goat who always jump out seem to have escaped but that apart is only the kids that are left they can survive i don't even know yeah that is it um what else have i lost last year january i had hit bulls and they were all stolen so and the same day that they stole the goats my neighbor had a pen with about 48 to 50 um pigs and they were also stolen in terms of cost, that would be roughly about $800,000, give or take, because it's $1,000 for goat meat. It's $1,000 a pound for goat meat. And even if you were going to price a goat, a mother goat who is possibly pregnant, about $30,000. Ratings this larger than life, you mongers. Ratings. This impotence, are you blessed?